Nothing worse than having a garden full of flourishing fruits, veggies, and flowers, only to have been invaded by pest. The rabbits have taken my daughter's garden by storm, Dale. So I know my husband is tuning in to get some good tips from you this morning because, yes, we need to keep the critters away from our garden. Good morning. Good morning. I, I, I've got you covered, Dawn. Thank you. I should say, personally, at home, uh, my daughter's uh, little dog, Wilson, I, I didn't know he was going to be such a big pest. He's been digging up everything. But one thing he hasn't been able to get to is my raised planters. So there's a tip for you. Not only does it save your back from, you know, bending over and gardening if you've got your veggies in a raised planter, that also helps protect them from rabbits and even Wilson. Talking about rabbits, um, one of the best ways to protect um, is a physical barrier, a little uh, cone like this, and also some hardware cloth. I like the green one. It's just a little bit easier on the eyes and a little bit easier to use as well. Of course, if we're talking about deer, you would use a, a bigger or longer roll for that height for, for deer. Also, when it comes to deer, what I do like, a couple of little home tips, they don't like the milk in enzymes, uh, the enzymes in milk, I should say. So putting about a quarter cup of milk, a little bit of uh, Dawn soap for, that adds as a sticking agent together in a little spray bottle and spraying uh, your leaves with that mixture does a good job of repelling deer. Also repelling deer is a good deodorant soap like this. And this one, it's wrapped in cardboard and wrapped in plastic. And by crikey, I can smell it from here. So that does a good job deterring deer. And also, if you were to skewer a bar of soap and put it in your, in your soil, that also does a good job. Slugs this time of year, especially with the drippy weather outside. Uh, diatomaceous earth is good for all crawling insects, as is sluggo. And then as when it comes to repellents, um, natural plants like these, marigolds, basil, lavender, all repel plants. Banana peels, my grandfather actually taught me this. Banana peels tucked under the soil will actually uh, prevent aphids or deter aphids from attacking your plants. Uh, great for house plants, but also works in the garden as well. Also makes a great fertilizer. Um, repellents, there's granular and also liquid. The liquids need to be reapplied after after rain and also some sort of a smelly fertilizer like blood and bone bill or melogonite keeps kind of all, all lots of little critters away. Also hot sauce, the hotter the better. Let me just... Ooh. Okay, the hotter the better is really good. So this also mixed with... This also mixed with water in your, in your water bottle combined with basil leaves or even some marigold flowers does a great job <coughs> of, deterring, of deterring insects as well. No insects inside me this morning, that's for sure. And then finally, also with the water um, that's happening right now, if you're worried about mozzies, this, uh, this particular little deal here is um, a biological control. You can put this in your bird baths, your, anywhere where there's standing water. That will kill all the little regular mosquitoes, Dawn. Ho hope Hope your um, hope your husband was watching. You are committed to the story, Dale K. You don't have to guzzle hot sauce on live TV, but you did. You made it through. The hotter the the hotter the better. Oh, do you like hot stuff? <laughs> As he's coughing. <laughs> Keith says that was awesome.